In addition to excavating dinosaurs on Mount Kirkpatrick, one of our goals was to explore for new sites. On January 6th, Nate and I were the first people to ever set foot on Golden Cap, a mountain several miles south of Mount Kirkpatrick, which also holds early Jurassic Henson Formation sediments. fairly good um, day up here on the mountain. Fortunately we didn't find any bones but we did find uh, some interesting beds that might actually tell us a little bit about time and environment. Um, so we collected a few hand samples there. We collected rock samples from the Hansen Formation and the Fala Formation below it. These samples are rich in organic material giving them a dark almost black color. Eva Koppelhus, who is our team paleontologist, will study these samples for clues about ancient environments and also the age of the rocks. I'm Eva Koppelhus and I come from Canada. I'm a paleontologist and, and uh, the reason why I came along here is that I'm going to see if I can find any uh, spores and pollen in the uh, Hansen formation in, in the quarry where the uh, Cryolophosaurus has been found. So this is a piece from uh, the quarry and as you probably can see it's a uh, first of all very hard rock and then uh, it has a very light color and that's uh, a bad thing for paleontology. If you look closely here there is uh, absolutely no indication of dark uh, stains or anything and that uh, is probably um, a sign that there are no organic material in this rock. An example here of a, a shale which is uh, full of organic material. Ooh, coal, small coal pieces, and uh, that is probably going to be really good for finding spores and pollen. The reason why I want to find the spores and pollen is so I can say something about what kind of plants that grew at the same time as the animals, uh, the dinosaurs were around. The process for um, analyzing these uh, sediments for organic material is that you take sort of a small amount of it uh, to the lab and then you dissolve uh, all the minerals away with the hydrofluoric acid and then uh, you rinse what's left um, and that is the organic material and you um, in some cases you will color it to be able to see morphological features but in other cases you just uh, put it in a on a slide and then you um, study it under a microscope and in that way you can see what uh, what uh, has been left of organic material there and sometimes you can be very lucky and have very rich samples and I am predicting that this uh, is probably going to be a rich sample with uh, lots of spores and pollen from plants that grew sometime in the Jurassic so uh, it's a, a time-consuming job but it's very rewarding when the samples are good. Finding out what uh, plants uh, there are I can say something about the environment and I can uh, also in some cases where the stratigraphy is not known uh, very well I can sometimes be able to help uh, solving the problem how old it is or how young uh, the uh, material is so uh, there are many good reasons for studying the plants as well. And one more thing is that um, if it wasn't for the plants, there wouldn't have been any dinosaurs. 